This presentation is about podcasts and how they make money through advertising throughout the podcast. So the first article we read was about Amazon Music and how they were late to the party being substantial when it comes to podcasts being substantially behind Spotify and Apple who've been putting out content for years. Amazon also tends to have an older consumer base with more than 50,000 podcasts available for these people to listen to. The second article we read was about Conan O'Brien and how he sold his podcast. Conan O'Brien needs a friend as well as his media company Team Coco to SiriusXM for a total of $150 million. Two-thirds of the 16 million monthly downloads that Sirius acquires comes from the Team Coco podcast. These video clips distributed are distributed through several channels which generated roughly $10 million in ad revenue in 2021 alone. In addition to the media company as well as the podcast, they are in the works for developing a new streaming TV show. So the first long podcast going over is the Joe Rogan experience with David Goggins, which comes in at a runtime of over two hours at 2 hours 17 minutes and 58 seconds. This podcast goes into Goggin's many feats, such as Navy SEAL training, ultramarathon running, and so on. The short podcast going over is from the Pat McAfee show, where he talks about quarterback for the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen's elbow injury, and how it will impact him going forward in the season. So who's listening to these? Joe Rogan has a wide customer base being the number one podcast on Spotify with a variety of fans primarily centered around white male aged between 18 and 34. Demographics on the Pat McAfee show were harder to come by, but it can be assumed that they are mostly football fans as that is majority of his content content with his YouTube channel coming in at just over 2 million subscribers. So advertising. Joe Rogan has an exclusive brand deal with Spotify where he gets majority of his revenue in addition to sponsorships including Black Rifle Coffee, Ale from Customizables, sofas, and athletic greens. Pat McAfee Show also has sponsors including Seagate, Roman, Manscaped, and 5-Hour Energy. So the length of these podcasts makes sense for both of them. Both of them have smaller clips, full-length videos that are more easily shared throughout social media. McAfee focuses on headlines from sport, from full